1-800-227-705. Back on the show that's all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. I'm thrilled to be joined by my friend and colleague, Mark Kalish of the S4 Group. Uh, Mark, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Solomon. Great to be here right after an Eagles win. So, really, really special. <laughs> no comments. No comments. Um, it's a, uh, we are the show that's all about small business, and uh, there's nobody that understands or appreciates uh, the, the magnitude of uh, government's impact on the business community. And uh, before we even get into it, I strongly, strongly encourage our listeners to get on our website, S4 Group. S4GRP.com, where you could also uh, sign up for email alerts and uh, really, really stay on top of what is going on in state and uh, and national uh, politics. So, uh, Mark Kalish, uh, you understand the environment. Uh, something that's really interesting to our small business listeners is the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. There was a bill that the governor was pushing that would privatize the agency. Any chance that that's going to happen? I don't think uh, much much of significance is going to happen. I certainly don't see a privatization of DECO um, happening in the current culture uh, in Springfield. Um, but it's a uh, it, it's it's also a challenging idea. I, I don't I, I don't I don't see other states that have uh, done that uh, successfully. And uh, it's it's good to keep the uh, the state's checkbook in in the hands of uh, state employees as opposed to privatization. So uh, talking about uh, state and state employees, there's a lot of issues that are uh, that are being negotiated, including pensions, which is uh, an important. That's probably an understatement. Um, you've been spending a lot of time in Springfield. Uh, and I'm curious, are there things going on more directly? It, we're, we're now uh, half a year into uh, into uh, the fiscal year of the of the state without a budget. Um, there's only a few weeks left in December. Is there any chance that before New Year, the state of Illinois will actually have a budget, or is that uh, wishful thinking? Well, I think some of the things that your small business owners, you know, would want to know is that, you know, just like uh, when they negotiate contracts uh, with, uh, with with their employees, and they don't want to do it uh, year after year, you know, they try to lock them in for for a long period of time. I think the same same is going to be true with the state budget. Whatever agreement's going to come out is going to be a two-year budget. Madigan and Cullison and Browner, they're not going to want to go through this uh, again next year. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that whatever is going to happen now, since we're so far down the, you know, so far down the, 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 the road, that it's going to end up being a two-year type of budget. So that will probably mean nothing before January and probably something closer to May or June. Wow. And uh, I, I would add, I would echo your sentiment that that's not necessarily a bad thing to have to, uh, to, to, right. to change the way uh, the state works and actually have a meaningful discussion every two years past the two-year budget. But uh, when the budget is passed, and it's a when, not an if, uh, right. there will be, uh, in order for there to be compromise, changes will have to be made. What will the, uh, what do you predict the final product will look like? Some things will have to be cut. We just don't have enough money. Correct. And I, I think the governor is right in that, um, you know, there, there are a lot of social service programs, um, even important ones, that will end up on the cutting floor. Uh, and uh, it's it's impossible to predict which those which of those they're going to be, but um, you'll probably also see some privatization in the education front. And, you know, when it comes to health care, you're going to see some uh, significant cuts. So uh, I, I think that's going to, that, that's going to end up uh, making up the state budget. But the state's already saved a lot of money by, you know, not having a budget for the past six months. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so between the two, I think you're going to end up with a, a pretty close to balanced budget. And Rauner may be in the right in coming up with the, with a plan to get us back on track. So in the end, you know, if we're able to weather this storm, you know, we may look upon this as a positive thing as opposed to a negative thing. And changing gears for a moment, talking politics, Rauner's investing huge, huge dollars into, uh, into trying to win the majority in the House and the Senate. Do you think there's any possibility that that would happen? No, I don't think there's a possibility that he'll actually win a majority. But victory for Rauner isn't win a major- winning a majority, but taking away seats. If he takes away seats from the Democratic majority, um, any number of seats, one seat is a victory for Rauner, uh, because that'll show that his agenda um, is 
is uh, is supported by the citizens of Illinois. Right now, the Democrats are contending that you know he's he's riding solo. Um, and uh, if he picks up one seat, that's a victory for Rauner, and it'll likely mean uh, that uh, he's going to uh, be governor for another four years, uh, and uh, it will hurt the Democrats in four years from now. In other words, in the next, in two years, in three years from now, sorry, in the next election, that's where the Democrats will feel real pain. And we have less um, than a minute don't. remaining. Um, is the relationship, sure. is the friendship between uh, Rahm and, uh, and Bruce Rauner uh, still stable, or uh, is it on shaky ground right now? I think the relationship is actually stronger than ever, uh, but the problem is that uh, Rauner, uh, is that Rahm is more toxic than Rauner right now. Um, who would have sunk? <laughs> and uh, and it's 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 if if anyone needs anyone, it's Rom needing uh, Rounder. And the and the comments that the governor made about the videos over the weekend um, aren't positive for Rom. So, as as uh, promised, there's nobody that understands state government, particularly here in Illinois, uh, better than Mark Kalish of the S4 Group. Mark, thanks for joining us again. I encourage our listeners get on the website of the S4 Group, s4grp.com. We could sign up for email updates. Mark, Mark, thanks for joining us on the program. Thank you, Stone. Thank you. After the break, uh, continuing the theme of politics, we're going to be talking with Sally Pipes, talking about Obamacare's impact on small business.